I don't know whether to introduce myself this time, and I'm your host. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that, actually. We're back. I'm Sam. I'm here at Goral in Sheffield, and this is Will It Shoe? Today, we're looking at the Mill L43536. I got the numbers right. This is the insulating counterpart to the pretty famous M65 jacket that was kind of introduced to the US military in 1965. I am not a military specialist, so if any anoraks want to jump in the comments and correct us on what this sort of is or what version it is or anything, then just don't bother. The M65 found its way into sort of popular menswear and fashion when the soldiers fighting in the Vietnam War brought it back home and ended up wearing it on the streets as part of the anti-war protests. Whilst the M65 has been a fashion staple in menswear for a while, more recently we've seen some utilitarian menswear brands like Kestin and Uniworks taking inspiration from the liner and actually making liners part of their permanent collections. The fabric we're dealing with today is a 100% nylon, which while still a synthetic is way better than polyester and some of the others. Uh, once you've recycled nylon, it is then infinitely recyclable without degradation to the quality of the fiber. Whilst the uh, utility-based brands have got their hands on it, it's also seen fashion-derived versions from Ralph Lauren, Montclair, and Supreme. I am really interested to see how a essentially quilted material works with being turned into shoes, but that is what we are here to answer. Will it shoe? And then shove it in a box. So I'm gonna shove the liner in our trusty shoe box and then send it off to the workshop and wait to see what comes back. I just want you to know that it takes about two weeks between me filming the intros and talking about these materials for the team at the workshop to deliver a product. So I actually have no idea what I'm about to see. Um, I just thought that'd be fun for you to know, but yeah, Oliver's here, he's got a box for me. <laughs> okay. That is not what I was expecting them to look like. They're all right, aren't they? <laughs> I guess you've just got rid of all the padding. Well, no, it's, no? In, there. it's in there. There's a padding in there, yeah. Oh, it just looks so much better <laughs> than it did before. It's like, like with the Ikea ones, the yellow soles were just great, but this kind of, what's this? What would you call this color? Right. <laughs> Were there any issues with this one for them? So the, the filling kept sticking to people's fingers and we used like an adhesive and stuff so people have a lot of like hairy fingers. And then we did the trim on the outside, like rather than moving inside out, I usually do put the trim 
one adjusted on the right way around so we don't right. have to worry about it tearing. So again, uh, like the IKEA polypropylene bag, um, there's eyelets on here, just like, like we say, when we do leather, we like to use a really high quality one that doesn't need eyelets, it's thick enough. But for thinner fabrics like this, I think eyelets are necessary. Do you like them? What do you think? Are they an absolute load of trash or would you wear them? That's what we're here to find out. So let us know in the comments and until then, we'll see you in the next video.